This video covers an overview of TEX 500C Part 9, Recording, Labeling, Packaging, Storing, and Shipping of Asphalt Samples. Binders and emulsions supplied to TexDOT projects must meet stringent requirements and have detailed specification tests that they must meet in order to be used in the final product. We've covered the actual sampling methodology in the other parts of the videos available. This video will focus on the actual reporting side of obtaining the sample, uh, marking the sample, putting the sample into the system, labeling it, and shipping it to its final destination. After witnessing the contractor take the sample, the TxDOT representative should immediately take possession of the sample, thus initiating the chain of custody. Logging and labeling the sample is fairly straightforward. Log in the site manager and begin a new sample. Identify the type of sample being taken. And then identify the material type from the sample. This sample is an AC-15P. Sampler identifies himself and searches again for the supplier of the material. Generally a point and click activity. And then re verifies the source of the material. Specific notes are added relative to the sample and any additional information required. And also included is the Federal Express shipping information. Be sure to enter the QM sample number, the C number from the Asphalt Lab, into the seal number. Save and proceed to the test tab. It's very important that you enter the following information or MTD may not be able to identify the sample. The sample is saved and we generate the lab report. The form 202 is opened. Information is checked. and then the form is printed. The sample ID is copied. The printer software is next opened. Opening the label. Verifying the type of label. Copying the identification into the label. Expanding it to full size. Four copies of the labels are printed, two copies for the can, one copy for the shipping container, and one copy for the 202 form. To emphasize, it's very important to copy and paste the sample ID number into the labeling software. Do not try to type it in by yourself. Apply two labels to the sides of the can on opposite sides. Apply the third label to the form 202 and the fourth label to the shipping box. Pack the sample in a box using crumpled paper and make sure the FedEx tracking number is identified in Site Manager. If the sample is designated for Materials and Test Division, ship the sample within three days of collection to the Cedar Park campus. This video was intended to be an overview of the process. For detailed information, consult the Asphalt Binder Inspection and Sampling Guidance effective May 2020. Thank you.